Let's meet your fire squad. Over there in the corner, that mushy, mushy goodness over there, that's Josh Meyerowitz. There it is. I juggle. All right. They know your shtick. Uh, right there in the middle, we, saw, we talked about this already, that is the most hated man on America's Got Talent with the most views for being booed the longest on America's Got Talent. That's Alex Hooper. Yes! And as always, it's the Rust Battle League Commissioner, my co-host for Rust Battle League Weekly, make it loud, Pat Barker. <laughs> Pat Barker! And you, you're an audience, make some noise for yourselves. Give yourselves some self-esteem. Come on, audience. Love it! All right. Good stuff tonight. I got no Chant Master, but I got you guys. Let's start it. Uh, I fucked up last week. I did a black thing. I booked a black battle which I thought would be here at 10.30. <laughs> Little did I know they would all get here at 10.50. So we had to start this thing even 10 minutes after that. So let's just get into it. Uh, this guy's never done this before. We're excited to have him. Make it loud for Uncle Todd. <laughs> yes, yes, hell yeah. Kung Fu Todd. You guys know Todd, he's from uh, the Craig Smith uh, podcast, yeah. What's it called? It's called Craig Facts, man. Shout out to the I'm Out There Nation. I know you out there. He's out there. All right, good. Now, Todd, this has been going on for a little bit. It's been brewing for a while. Now, what, what, what started this? What's the origin story of you and DeHerm? DeHerm came up to be a guest on Craig Facts. Yeah. I heard that he was out here roasting people, mm -hmm. so I had to put it in his life, and I want to do it now in front of everybody else. Hell yeah. All right. Uncle Todd from Pasadena. Let's meet his nephew from Cashville, Tennessee. I don't know his record because he won't tell anybody. And that's his jail record. Everybody make a laugh for my man, DeHer! Yeah. You got it. I told you last week. This dude ugly, boy. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. I told his ass last week. He ugly as hell. <laughs> Came back still ugly. Sorry about that. Can't really change it. It's genetics. Can't help it. I know, I can't, I can't. You look great tonight. I do? Yeah, yeah, you look good. Yeah, you know how I do yeah. that. You know. Got the, uh, you wanna show them your, uh, your jacket there? Well, nah, not right, we ain't gonna <laughs> You wanna show them the jacket See, there? Nah, what happened was, this is actually bathing eight, and they just happened to do, to do a collab with. You don't wanna show them? You wanna show the, the, the people at home and the people oh, in the I'm audience? A, I'm, a, I'm a music fan, I love you everybody. Them? You wanna show them? You wanna show them? No, no, I'm not. Ovio, Ovio Herm? Ovio oh. Herm? Man, get your oh. ass out of here. Look, look, check this out. They not like us. I yeah. got it because it was bait, not because of the clap. You know what I'm saying? So Was it I'm on a, sale I'm at Burlington Coat Factory? Why did you get this jacket and don't show anybody what this jacket is? I am a music lover. I love <laughs> Kendrick. I love Drake. I just like to see good music. I, dude, I have never seen more confused white people in my life. They have no what? idea yeah. what's happening. What? The more you explain it, the less they understand. I don't want them. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a nice jacket. Yes. Like that. No, no, you're bathed in Drake. We get it. All right. Uh, <laughs> so Uncle Todd, time. you're battling my man to Herm here. Yeah. It's your first time. Yeah. You just want to do this last week. You don't give a fuck. Why are you doing this to him? Well, first and foremost, I'm, when I met him, I'm like, why is this nigga got a church sock wrapped around his head? Nigga? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned more about him. I'm like, why this nigga, they call him uncle and he don't have no siblings. I'm like, this nigga got to go. <laughs> got to go. I was like, man, let's do it, man, because it's going to be he fun. He got an inside-out condom on his head. <laughs> no. Wow. Wow. It's that already is... started. Your socks are childish as hell. That's uh, first and foremost, nigga. That's crazy. It's this brown, so that's why that's, that's nasty. All right, let's see. What y'all laughing at a pedophile for me? It's three jokes. Uncle Todd, the Herm. Who's Uncle. going first? Uncle. The Uncle going first? The Uncle. Uncle. Age before beauty, I guess. <laughs> let's do this. It's the Herm, it's Uncle Todd, let's roast! Y'all see the Herm? Look at the Herm. He look like a, a genie that came out of Grape Shasta bottle. That was light. That was light. That was light. It was cute, you know, Shasta bottle, that's cool, that's cute. And, hey, I want y'all to give it up for uh, Teenage Molesting Nigga Turtle, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you a pedophile, Uncle. I'm not done. It's my rebuttal. So ugly ass up, nigga. Nigga, what's wrong with this ugly ass nigga? This nigga look like, this look like he, he, 
It's like he says sound effects when he makes sandwiches, nigga. <laughs> Mayday, bread. I want y'all to give it up for uh, Hong Kong foodie. <laughs> Fat ass nigga. Oh, three piece. He hit me with a three piece. You seen that? So meaty head ass. Up, give nigga. it up. Give it up for Bone Thugs and Poverty. <laughs> That's a little you gonna let me burn, dollar. You gonna let me burn, dollar. Yeah. Chicken bone, fat ass nigga. That's a little bit better. Is that it? You ain't. That's it. That's all you got. Uh, Uncle, you, you look like you got your uh, wizardry license from the DeFry Institute. <laughs> There's a lot of stutter coming out that missing side too. But anyway, we'll we'll move on. This nigga Uncle. This nigga look like he. Um, he licks his finger after he changed diapers. <laughs> See, a lot of y'all know this though. <laughs> a, uncle, a Uncle Tom is somebody who turns their back on black people. But a Uncle Todd is someone who throws it back at black men. Oh, wow. This nigga look like, this nigga look like every oh, woman's third husband. <laughs> y'all leave it, son. Uh, the, the her, him. The every her, woman. You look. You look like you got your hand slapped in a men's bathroom before. Slap my hands? <laughs> stop it. You stop it. You stop all that That's cute. to her. You better cut that shit out. Get your damn hand back to her. You gonna milk that only good joke, so ugly ass up, nigga. Nigga wrong with that nigga look like a, a, a groundhog that comes out the closet, nigga. Get your stupid ass out of here, nigga. That's my butt, so ugly ass up, nigga. This nigga, this nigga look like he uh, signed up to be a special ed teacher because that'd be the only time he get to see his stupid ass daughter, nigga. Oh, man. Oh, with her man. retarded ass, nigga. Oh, man. You got see as a retard, I take offense to that. Wow. Uh, one more time for Deherm. Shout out to the retarded people. And Uncle Todd. Wow. <laughs> wow. Deherm with the week notice. This man's been waiting his whole life for this. Uh, let's start with the firing squad here. That was good, man. That was unexpected. He's never done this shit before. He's been asking. I was like, no, Uncle Todd, no. Get here at 1030. Uncle Todd was punctual. This nigga just got here. Uh, let's start with... Let's, Let's start with Alex Hooper, then I'll go to my, I'll go to autism. Oh man, what a good episode of Scared Straight, everybody. This is, this, this is the reason why Taco Bells have bulletproof glass in some neighborhoods. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ugly. I got one. <laughs> All right, no, uh, really, I mean, we, so first of all, we have Live on the Streets fighter. Uh, <laughs> 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 We really do have every, like, every archetype of black homeless person on this stage right now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely with these two. Sure. Dude, I mean, solid so, like, jokes so. out of the game, man. The, the <laughs> genie coming out of a grape soda bottle. The, uh, the uh, bone thugs in poverty. I mean, love a good wordplay joke. Really, really clever shit. Uh, honestly, good job, Uncle Phil, on those ones. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And then 20 Cent coming at him with uh, <laughs> the sa I'm on your way. <laughs> sandwich sound effects, Kung Fu Foo Foodie. I mean, that was really good shit. It was, <laughs> honestly, I, I got to say, I think I got to give it just by a nudge to Uncle Todd. Yeah. Just by a yeah. no. no, it was great. Boom. Boom. It was great, but you had a dud, and he kind of kept swinging. So. You wearing a Tesla scope on your body. Get your stupid ass out of here. <laughs> Kaleidoscope, right. Tesloscope, Mess Up TV. You got it on, nigga. Show ugly ass. Josh, who, who did you like in this remake of South Central on Tubi? <laughs> <laughs> uh, something to wake up to during the middle of the night. Oh, my God. So I got nothing more but the same from Alex. Uh, Uncle Todd, you did a great job. You both did a great job, honestly, uh, for the first battle of the night. And uh, Listen, I got to say, this has been on my mind. Uncle Todd. That, is, that name is entrapment for white people, I swear to God. <laughs> You're just planning on us to make a mistake. Well, I will not. <laughs> Dern, you did great, but you fell apart out the last joke. Uh, Uncle Todd, you got his ass. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that mid-ass last joke, nigga. It was me. Right. Don't I'm talk about us through. retards, man. Before I go to the commissioner, <laughs> let's talk to a season two champion, Frank. Frank, who did you like in this uh, 
this family dispute of a, a father and son uh, fighting because his son came out of the closet. <laughs> this was a, such a great battle. This does look like the evolution chart of when you like give uh, anime to black guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get very that. nerdy. I didn't. Deherm, you had a lot of good jokes. You usually crush at this, but Unk, you definitely fucking smashed. It was crazy. It was mild. Oh. No, this is this is why. Y'all just built the same. That's no, what no, it no, is, no, no, no. Shut up. <laughs> Taking up one hundred. This. this is the first time I think I've ever seen you shook. Oh. Who me? Yes. It was actually fire. Nigga. No, no, no. And you did he great. Was, but this is the first time that I think he got you to where you were like it's you hilarious. had to like catch up, and I was like, oh fuck. But uh, yeah, the fucking Bone Thugs and Poverty was so good. It was. It really set the tone. But uh, yeah, I got to give it to Unk on this one. Yeah. I gotta oh, say, ugly. Uncle Todd taught to her in the bright way to call another man gay. Okay, that was worth it. Uh, all right. <laughs> Retarded ass up, nigga. RBL Commission, who'd you like in this live action version of the PJs? <laughs> I like that Uncle Todd is wearing a picture of what he thinks he looks like on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this was an interesting one, man, because DeHerm's been on a roll. He's been becoming like a little bit of like a star in this room. People, people know DeHerm. They love DeHerm. And tonight, you know, it was like, you ever, you ever watch a pickup game at the, at like the YMCA and like an old man comes off the bench and they're like, we need a fifth fucking get out here. And then he's got that Jokic game. He can't jump at all. He just making no look passes, like Bro, you know that Sam kind Perkins. of shit. Yeah, he's got the Sam Perkins game for sure. And he just came off the bench and like lit your ass up, Herm. And, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Because here's what you've been doing the whole time. Here's what you've been doing. You've been bombing, then getting killed, then doing commentary on why the crowd is wrong the and his jokes bomb. actually that aren't. Good. No, 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 crowd no. Bomb. no, 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 I was no, doing no. Pretty great. You, 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 he's killing you and you're like, man, that wasn't even that good. Well, if his wasn't that good, then yours was dog shit because no, no, it was it way was, better than yours. It was good. You First can't, off, what are you doing at the gym anyway, nigga? You, yeah. <laughs> What's the last time you've been to the YMCA, nigga? That's, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> say, O-B-Ho, O-B-Ho, say, O-B-Ho, O-B-Ho. Say, O-B-Ho, O-B-Ho. <laughs> Show ass so with them skate ring socks, nigga. Nigga, yeah. you wearing that fucking Drake shit. Shut the fuck nigga, up. Yeah, man. <laughs> nigga, yep. glow in the dark skate ring shoelaces. Loser ass again. jacket, loser <laughs> ass jokes, it all checked out tonight. Uh, I give it to Uncle Todd. When Tom. you walk, your titties rub. Put your big ass up. <laughs> Uh, audience, it doesn't even matter. That's just commentary. Who do you it does like? Not. Uncle Todd! All right, all right, all right. That's who do you his... like? Deherm. <laughs> ah, hey. More than I thought. Hey. You know who he is? That, that matters. Who? That matters. That right. matters right there. Yeah, hell yeah. He's a great guy. You who know? is that? You know who that is? No? Hey, man, he's a one-man army. That's what it is, nigga. That's a one-man army right, right there, nigga. We're counting in for two people. Just yeah. two, though. <laughs> Nigga, that nigga, hey. Uncle Todd? Yeah! His first battle off the bench. Is it? Uncle Todd! <laughs> <laughs> Hug each other, you two. Hug each other. Good shit, Todd. <laughs> battle! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> wow. Hey everybody, it's Brian Moses, the Roast Battle League host here. Uh, here to talk about my bookie. Now, it's football season, and unlike a lot of the other degenerates, I like to gamble my money on the Raiders and lose all this YouTube money that you guys are sending us through ads. Ah, so, even if you don't bet, it's simple with my bookie. They have these weekly risk-free boosts. All you have to do is put your money down, and if you don't win, if you don't hit, you get a full refund. If you do, you win big. Now, here's the thing I have to tell you because this is verbatim and this is what we're getting paid for right here. Now, when you're ready to start with my bookie, just click the link in the show notes below, sign up, and you're ready to bet. Use promo code ROAST, R-O-A-S-T, to claim a bonus that doubles your money on your very first deposit. What? Oh, yeah, that's real. I read it right because it even says right here, you heard that right. They double your money with the code ROAST, R-O-A-S-T. It's that simple, man. Come on now. Place your bet. My bookie plus is the lock of the century. This is a San Diego battle. It's ladies first, all the way from San Diego, 4-0. Uh, make a lot for Taylor Spencer. Yes, yes, sure, yes. Taylor, Taylor. Hi. 
er det sagde. Taylor Spence, welcome to the show. Undefeated. Never lost in this. It's going to stay that way. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. I've seen your battle. You might be right. Um, why are you doing this to Leo Savage? Well, he asked me, and he told me that no one else wanted to roast him. So I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> and I was like, that's kind of sad. All right, this guy's fun. He's from Chile. Eight, seven, and one. That means a tie. Leo. Savedra! Yes. 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 All right. What's up? This is good, man. This is good. You're battling uh, Taylor Spence here. Why are you doing this? She's doing very good in the Rose Bottles in San Diego, so why not? Thank you. They're saving the heat for the battle. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. One round, three jokes. Leo, Taylor, who's going first? I'm going first. Oh, you're a gentleman. Let's just do it, folks. San Diego's on these two. Make it loud. Let's roll! Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor here, she, uh, she looks like um, she hate men and black people equally. I would be offended, but I can't understand what the fuck you're saying. Racist. So Leo dropped out of college, and English is his third language. So all he knows how to say is, welcome to Applebee's. Can I take your order? <laughs> much, much smarter than you, for sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Taylor goes by they and them. Uh, my English is not too good. So I think that's fitting her very well. They, them, they, them. Thank yeah. you. That sounds, sounds about right. It makes sense. I'm bipolar, so it works for both ways. Jesus. Okay. Um, so uh, I was trying to find more about Leo. I was looking at his uh, Instagram, and I couldn't find any picture of him. Like he didn't had he hadn't posted any picture. Uh, and it makes sense because he looks like uh, Pedro Pascal if he was ugly and had a stroke. <laughs> but I survived. I survived. Right. <laughs> um, they. <laughs> Thank you. They um, suffer from multiple uh, mental illness, but be <laughs> but being racist and a cunt, I don't think it's part of it. I don't like that joke. I want to talk to your manager, <laughs> but you don't have one, so. Uh, so, Leo here, uh, he actually just became a U.S. citizen. Yeah, it's really exciting. So, he's, he's allowed in this country, but he is a 40-year-old skater, so he's not allowed custody of his kids. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> San Diego's finest, Taylor Spence, Leo Saavedra. All right, you're a very supportive audience. Taylor, I apologize for fucking your pronouns up. Yeah, yes. Anyway, uh, all right, let's get into it. Let's talk to my firing squad here. Uh, who did you like, Josh? Did you like him or Vasotros? <laughs> Science at work. Taylor Spencer got Leo in my eyes two for one. Uh, she, she had to kind of lock in from the second joke on and she managed to, Leo, Leo, Leo. You maybe got one joke, but the rest of your set is just 
like, you bowed as good as I judge. Damn. Damn. I give this battle a... Thank you. I, I'm going to be charitable and give this battle two out of five autistic thunderbolts. Oh, bringing your own scale to the party. Okay. I got to have something. All right. Oh, Self-deprecating during judging. You never stop. I like it. Good shit. All right. By the way, I got to... You're my favorite audience members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a point last battle you guys just started hugging when, like, Pat was like, oh, you know, DeHerm's usually a star and you guys just started hugging. I was like, this is like your TV show. This is good stuff. Anyway, that was just for me. Alex, who'd you like in here? This is just good for me. Oh, this was an interesting ESL class. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, congrats on your Emmy nomination for Baby Reindeer. Really love that series. And thank you so much for wearing the picnic blanket uh, as your clothing today. That's great. Uh, and also, this is why people are afraid of migrant crime, Leo, because you come up here and do that on this stage. Um, there were uh, I, there were very few jokes happening up there. There was a lot of facts, uh, not a lot of punchlines, guys. Not a lot of punchlines. Honestly, like, uh, I mean, I kind of gave each of you a half point for a joke. <laughs> but nothing really killed in there. So it just was kind of disappointing on all accounts. And you know, it's a, uh, you know, we all kind of lost on this one. So I'm so I know you're normally better than this. Both of you guys tonight was not the night. So no, it was yeah. not. all right, Pat. Oh, sorry. No, you know, let's go to, let's go to the, uh, the season two winner here. Woo! You know, you, you know, Mexican people and you know them. Um, which peanuts character did you like? <laughs> Peppermint Fatty or a discontinued character? <laughs> well, I just want to make sure I get all the pronouns right. Uh, I just want to say that uh, they did not have a good battle. And I mean both of you, not just one of you. Um, <laughs> oh, look at you numbers in the pronouns. That's hey! plural. That's plural, right? All binary, babe. Anyways, um, that was good. Uh, it could have been better. It was a draw, in my opinion. Did you say all binary? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's stupid. Like, is all wheel drive like a Subaru? Yeah, yeah, That's something like that. Yeah, work, yeah, I know. It's okay. Uh... <laughs> We're going to get through this episode, I promise you. All right, RBL Kamish, take us home. Who'd you like in this one? Uh, well, I mean, you know, it was a fun battle between the kid from Coco, all grown up, and, uh, and the kid from Bad Santa, all grown up. Um, <laughs> I want to give Leo credit for something. I, I've been busting Leo's balls for years because he, he got a lot of wins early and he did it against like easy competition and I would always give him shit for it. And he went out and found an undefeated battler and was like, I want to take on someone who's really good. And it didn't seem that way tonight, but I've seen Taylor battle a bunch before and Taylor, uh, they are very good. I like uh, him too much. I don't want to be mean, you know? Okay. I know. Well, I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> I thought I was signing up for a church potluck. <laughs> Clearly, yes, dress the way you want. Autism versus um, my, my favorite thing was the, the one where you were like, you don't have a manager. Well, Leo, on behalf of all the unrepped people in this room tonight, I got your back, bro. Whoa! You, you're never gonna have a manager. You're, you're not good enough for one, but I, it's still a low blow, and she, they shouldn't have made fun of you for that. That was fucked up. No, they uh, didn't. My favorite moment of the battle was Leo's third joke when the, whole, the crowd was like, oh, he's doing a Borat thing, and they kind of like got on board, even though it was just like, my wife is a racist fat <laughs> um, They were like, that's close enough. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I think uh, I think Taylor, Taylor, you're a beast. Uh, I've seen you kill at this, but uh, tonight was not your night. Leo, uh, considering it's your third language, I got to take that into account. And when the jokes are tied, uh, for it to be your third language, I'm going to give you the, the edge on this one. Great job. Nice. Justin, you're keeping score at home. Uh, when, when Pat made the My Wife joke, they held each other tighter. Aww. It's just for me. Again, I love these two. All right, <laughs> let's judge. Audience, who do you like? Do you like... Leo Saavedra. Right? Or them, Taylor Spence. <laughs> Audience, what the fuck? Be decisive. Who do you like? Do you like Taylor Spence? Okay. Leo Saavedra. 
I don't know what to do right now. That, it's a tie? Yeah? I'm listening to you because you look like you have authority. And I feel like I'm going to vote for you this fucking November. <laughs> it's a tie! Leo is now 872, 401 Taylor, San Diego's finest right here. Make it loud! Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Leo. Battle! It's a weird night. Good shit, Josh. It's his first night, but it's his first night judging. All right, uh, this is a virgin suicide, meaning they haven't done this before. Let's meet them. From Los Angeles, Joey Angle. Oh. Oh, Joey's got some fans in the house. What up? Holy shit, grab that right there. How's it going? All right, you got some. You got some friends and family in the house, Joe. Uh, yeah, I got a got a few people here. All right, there, we can't have you guys judge. Fuck no. Yeah, you can't pack the house like that. But mm. from LA, from born and raised. Mm. Really? What part? Uh, so I'm Cedar Sinai baby, but I was raised in Santa Clarita. Nice. Six Flags, hell yeah. Six Six One. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really killing with them local references, Joey. Really crushing it with these five people up here. Is that your father? No, that's Bob Costas. That's Bob Costas? Oh, I thought it really... Oh, that's crazy. You never know, Joey. Sure. All right. Uh, why Alex Katz? I thought we were starting a Jewish fight club. Oh, okay. We might tonight. Let's do it. Uh, this guy's from Alabama. Jewish? Wild. All right. Uh... <laughs> Birmingham, Alabama. Make love for Alex Katz. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't know by the location, the last name, but you totally look like a fucking Alabama Jew. Roll yeah. Tide. Roll Tide. Z Hale. All right. Um, not gonna get monetized. All right. Uh, <laughs> why are you battling your brethren here? Well, I wanted someone really attractive and funny, but Joey said yes, so I went with him instead. Oh, uh, see? Yeah. <laughs> you like this. This is good stuff, man. This is Alex and Joey. They're gonna start a fucking deli after this. This is good. <laughs> or a law, our law firm, Katz and Angle, Moses, huh? You guys, All at the uh, same time? Maybe. I, you're so Jewish. <laughs> All at the same time? Ooh. You can see the horns growing? That was wild. All right, let's get it. Let's. Baruch ta Adam. I'm only kidding. Kind of. All right. Uh, before you guys bomb another country, let's do this. It's three jokes. Three jokes, half off. You're asking us? <laughs> You're asking us. You're, you're the best. All right, uh, who's going first? I will. Who's on first? Uh, what's on second? Ah! Yeah! Jude is! Anyway, all right. Let's... <laughs> this is, this is, this is the West, and this is a fucking uh, the Confederate. Anyway, all right, let's get to it. Alex, Joey, let's roast! All right, this SpongeBob square face to my fat trick is Joey. It's a good start. Uh, Joey does a lot of impressions, and some would say he has a face for voiceover work, but not me. That's rude. Uh, <laughs> one of his better impressions is Stewie from Family Guy. You look like a fat Keebler elf. Thank you. Uh, but one of my favorite impressions that he used to do was with his ex-girlfriend. At least that's what I thought. I was really embarrassed when I realized they weren't doing an episode from Love on the Spectrum. They just couldn't look each other in the eye. It's true, she had a problem. Joey, uh, you're ugly and retarded. <laughs> huh, all right, well, um, Alex's career pivot should come as a surprise to no one. Um, Alex, as we know, grew up in Alabama. That's inspiring. Um, he recently stopped living with his mother. He's unemployed and he never met his father. Alex is black. From the waist up. From the waist up. Uh, <laughs> I'd argue three-fifths of me is black, but that's a compromise. A lot of history buffs. I got it. Great. <laughs> this Andy Sandberg, if he were Jew-ish, is Joey. 
Joey looks great. He's in great shape. Thanks, you're a shape. You're a towel. Uh, he's in great shape. Uh, and you know what they say, you are what you eat, which is why Joey is simultaneously gluten-free, an asshole, and a gram of cocaine. Joey, you're a gay cokehead. You know, Alex, I still think of you as one of the most kind, caring, and optimistic people I've ever met. And that is why I just know you're so eager for the day you can bury both of your parents because nothing will make you happier to be able to say, hi, Dad, bye, Mom. You suck. <laughs> Speaking of watching things die, thank you for taking time away from yelling at your dog to be here. Since that's the only way you can get somebody to come. This dog zaddy right here is Joey. Yeah, Joey's favorite position is corgi style. It is what you think. Uh, doggy style with a short, fat bitch with no tail. And to make it worse, his dog has an Instagram page that he manages. Which I'm pretty sure he just uses to send random bitches pictures of his matzo balls. You cat gefilte fish, you. Hey, <laughs> you know me. Joey, you have sex with dogs. <laughs> so, um, you are what I imagine a person looks like after they lose their virginity at Shakey's. He told me to give me a raise. Now that is what a virgin suicide is supposed to look like. One more time for Joey Angle and Alex Katz, everybody. Yes. That's what it's supposed to look like. That was fun. You guys were friends. You could tell. It was your first time. You could tell. But this was fun. All right, I'm going to start with Alex Hooper here. Who did you like? Alex, did you like Zach Wilson or Aaron Rodgers? You know, I got to say, Arkansas. you can tell these guys are Jewish because they wrote enough jokes for one punchline, but it went on for eight. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Yeah, I, I did. By Happy the way, if you've David. never read the Torah, you don't have to. That counts, everybody. You just got the whole thing. Oh, man. Alex looks like he sells gems, but is definitely uncut. <laughs> Uh, if you were if you were a video game character, you would be Zhang Queef. Uh, um, I will say this, and then also, and then Joey, uh, you look like you raped a girl behind a dumpster after a Sudoku match. <laughs> That's not allowed. <laughs> Did you say ew? <laughs> You're the one who knew what a vaginal steam was, Miss. I don't want to hear from you. All right. No, seriously, um, guys, that was interesting to say the least you basically your joke would bomb and then you would just explain it in the shortest version possible when you had said it as long as you could like here's the thing i know it's your first time and i you guys were clearly having fun up there which is obviously important none of us were but you were <laughs> which is good so you know i mean just next time try to be a little bit more concise with what you're doing up there do you guys know each other pretty well yeah i mean Show us that you know each other a little bit more, because it kind of felt a little, just like, it felt a little far apart for me. Like, you guys, you were, you were kind of going for a surface-level shit. Get in there next time, because clearly you guys are funny people, and you have good rapport up there. So, you know, good job for your first one. Get the cherry popped, and thank you for being here. <laughs> there it is. All right. Two Jewish guys here, Josh. Who do you like, Jeremy Renner or Jeremy Piven on <laughs> testosterone? Oh, don't make me choose. This pal did more for anti-Semitism than Israel bombing Palestine. <laughs> Good Lord, this pal should be for boom! Oh my God, neither of you guys did good. <laughs> Alex, Alex, my friend, I, this makes sense that you're, it was your first time. They told you three jokes, not three jokes every turn. Uh, Joey, could you be more Jewish? Could you please just make us feel like we're right at home with our mothers? Or make us uncomfortable like this joke is going. I, I give it to the Jew. <laughs> ah. I give this battle one out of five autistic thunderbolts. Okay. It's bad. All right. Uh, which one of these guys who definitely carries tiki torches did you like, Frank? I mean, I hated this whole thing. This was 
This was rough. It was two back-to-back -back battles of bad, right? You think we can all agree? Yeah. All right, cool. I don't want to be too mean, but holy shit, <laughs> leave it to two Jewish guys to really overdo it. Like, this battle made me want to donate to Palestine. This is crazy. <laughs> I, I, uh, you know, that was so much bombing with so much collateral damage. I, I'm not saying what you did was bad, but I do think you guys should have went to Birthright on October 7th. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Wow. Jewish 9-11. That was perfect, yeah, 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 yeah. right? Uh, no, it, it could have been worse. Good job, guys. Um, now, that was Jewish. Yeah, good job. I like that nobody's picked the winner because there wasn't one. Um, <laughs> I'm, who do you like? You like him? Because he looks like you? It's very vain of you, lady. It's very vain of you. He's very affable. You like that, right? Yeah, yeah that's why you're my favorite. That's why you're my favorite. He's, got the, he's yeah. got the man titties I wish I had. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Pat, who did you like in this Gen Z version of Terminator 2? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disagree with Frank, uh, specifically the part where he said it could have been worse. I don't, I don't agree. Um, <laughs> the jokes were awful, but at least there were a lot of them. Um, you guys control the weather, but not the editing. That's cool. Oh! Um, Two jokes. Listen, I, uh, uh, yeah, a fat Jewish guy versus an obviously autistic guy. I felt like I was listening to Meyerowitz's inner monologue up there. Um, but look, I don't want to be too mean because one of you might be my agent someday. So I'm gonna, Hell yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill. Um, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> CIA, 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 CIA. <laughs> um. Well, who do you like, Stained or Linkin Park? Who do you like? Do uh, yeah, we're the the crowd. The crowd's gonna vote. I don't feel like doing this shit. Yeah, yeah. They, well, no, they can't because they all came here for fucking Joey. But I guess this has to happen. All right, uh, audience, who do you like? Do you like Alex Katz? You guys really are a tribal people, huh? You just bring your own. <laughs> Quantity guaranteed. All right. Uh, Joey Angle? <laughs> Gotta be honest, feels kind of fucking even. And I know you guys, I know you guys like exact change. Uh, 12 more jokes. 12 more jokes. All right. Be, be specific. Be decisive. Who do you like here? Do you like Joey? <laughs> Alex? <laughs> Folks, Alex Cash, your winner! Is it Joey? I got it right. Folks, one more time for Joey Angle, Alex Katz. Bad Oak! Crazy tonight. Bad Oak! All right, we're back. Holy shit, what a night. All right, those undercards are out of the way. Gotta be honest, the black people did the best. Um, doesn't always happen in this room, but you know, it's fucking first for everything. All right. Uh, one more time for Josh in his first night judging. Yes, please take more pity on me. Thank you. All right. Hey, everybody. Roast Battle League Commissioner Pat Barker here. You may know me as the funny guy who says the mean things to the battlers after they finish fighting, but I'm a little bit more than that. I'm also something of a health nut. I take my fitness very, very seriously. Okay, that was a lie. I don't but I'm about to now that I know about Factor. You see, I always thought I couldn't eat healthy because I don't have the time or knowledge or ability to cook my own meals. But fortunately, Factor has made it completely idiot-proof. If you have two minutes and a microwave, you can cook delicious meals at home. They come pre-packaged, never frozen, and there's lots of different options on their website in case you want to do keto or protein or low-calorie or all these things that I'm told are quite healthy. The truth is, I ordered my first Factor meals, and they are in route right now, so I will report back next week 60 pounds lighter. 
Or at least that's what I assume is going to happen. I've never eaten healthy before. Look, the bottom line is, if you head to factormeals.com slash roast50 and use code ROAST50, that's one word, R-O-A-S-T-5-0, you get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code ROAST50 at factormeals.com slash Roast five zero to get fifty percent off your first box plus twenty percent off of your next month while your subscription is active. Enjoy the roast. All right, everybody. Uh, I'm excited about this main event coming to the stage. It's ladies first here uh, from St. Louis, seven and one champ Angie Stroud. <laughs> yes. Whichever one you want here, Angela. All right, now Angie, I talked to Jason a few months ago. He had called you out. He said, you know, I'll battle Angie Stroud. She seems kind of fun. You're a champ in this, though, but you're, you're battling this guy, not putting your belt on the line, and this is his first time doing it. Why Jason Ellis? You know, it's not every day that you get the chance to roast the 82nd best skater of all time. <laughs> That's actually, that was just a joke. I looked up the list, he wasn't on the list. But I'm looking forward to this once in a lifetime chance. It's true. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, that's so mean. All right, uh, this guy's a fucking legend, man. I love this guy, uh, this is his debut here, battling Angie from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, he's got a podcast called The Cock and the Hawk because he's got a giant penis. Make it loud for Jason Ellis! What up, mate? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yeah. Fucking smart ass, really? Hi, Skateboard Jason. shit already? Yeah. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. That's badass. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I hate that you made me say that. I had to. I, I, I'm, yeah. Whatever. I have to, too. This yeah. is the worst part about it. Why Angie? Why did you say Angie? Well, I, we do this show, The Riff Raff, and I'm the arm wrestling champion. Oh, shit. Sure. And she constantly wants to fucking arm wrestle me. And I'm so close. You're not. <laughs> she, when, sometimes when I come into the comedy store, she tries to arm wrestle me when she's at the door. She arm wrestled me in the back with nobody watching. Like she seriously thinks she has a chance. I'm a and fighter. she's the weakest person I've ever arm wrestled in my life. <laughs> like sometimes she'll tap me on the back and I'll turn around and she's like, tonight's the night. I'm like, you fucking lost your brain. I do it's it for It's never America. gonna be the night. I do it for the US of A. USA! 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 I'm proud to be an American. I, I live here. I've got two American kids. Fuck. I just say I'm funny. Fuck off. That's great. I, I love it. I do love that. We can just... I do want to mention that she made me flip a coin before this starts. You've got the belt. I've never roasted before. Wait. And you need to flip a coin. Also, it was a digital coin, which I'm not very good at fucking phone shit, but I feel like I just got rigged. She was like, heads or tails? Nope, you lost. And I was like, what the fuck was that? We were talking about for the order. If you want, I can go first. No, 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 <laughs> um, ladies first. No, wait, no, you want me to, you, you want me to go first, we, right? Uh, <laughs> Man. Should have worn a helmet. I'm ready to, I know you're the best. I'm ready, I'm ready for it. All right, all right, we can do this. That was amazing. That was, uh, that was a 10 minute bonus p Patreon episode that Jason Ellis just gave us <laughs> as a podcast. That was great. And then you guys broke out into nationalism. That was fucking brilliant. I haven't seen that in a long time. So fucked. Yeah. All right, uh, you want this first. Fair is fair, yeah. Fair is fair. He's never done this. This is a champion, everybody. USA. USA. <laughs> room! Right, so. <laughs> hey, fuck everybody, okay? Man, you haven't even started. So you're probably gonna talk shit on me for being old. So I am old. I'm old enough to be your father. Uh huh. But I know I'm not your father because I never fucked Weird Al Yankovic. Okay. There we 
we go. Can I leave now? Good job, Jason. Great job. It's one. You're doing it, Jason. Skate legend Jason Ellis, everyone. So cool. What is it like to have Tony Hawk answer your text sometimes? That's crazy. Okay, but actually, actually, this is a real fact. You can play as Jason on Tony Hawk Pro Skater. If you press X, he goes like, that's me friend up there. <laughs> and if you press Y, he actually stands in Tony's shadow. That's pretty good, it's true. I, I do work with a legend. Uh, as close as you get to legends is trying to get eye contact in the parking lot. Uh huh. But you, if you notice everybody that Angie kind of looks like Carrot Top in blackface, but like Carrot Top has bigger tits and a more successful career. Yeah, Jason, you got through that. Is it that obvious? <laughs> okay. I'm so relaxed. What are you talking about? It's cool, man. <laughs> Uh, Has anyone got a water? I'm getting caught now. <laughs> I was not perched uh, until I got here yeah, yeah, quickly. <laughs> okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. Relax. Uh, Jason is bisexual. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, really. Uh, Jason's dick is like a boomerang and that he throws it to anybody, but it always ends up back in his hand. <laughs> get the notes, yeah, get the notes. That was nice, nice work. <laughs> Do you need your readers, Jason? I can't read, so fuck you. <laughs> so yeah, good one, yeah, I'm bi, but you're a fucking lesbian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, right? Thank you. No, I'm, I'm not done. Wait, wait. That was just a war. That was just a start. Yeah, you're a lesbian that enjoys uh, uh, indoor rock climbing, which means you enjoy uh, climbing fake rocks, and you also want to fuck a chick with a fake dick. But you catch a real bus to work, and your last real boyfriend really cheated on you. Yeah. Com complete sentences, everyone. Uh, yeah, Jason is gay and illiterate. <laughs> I'm not done. He's gay and illiterate, so it's only natural that Jason writes with AIDS. Oh, all for AIDS. Okay, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna go off. I feel like going off script, script for that one. That was not fair at all. Okay. With your lesbian bullshit, I know that you've only eaten one pussy, right? Mm. Right, yeah. so. I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm a better gay than you. I love this. This is like a conversation. This is like a Wait, discussion. Wait, you're not supposed to have conversations? No. <laughs> Just look, I'm, look, I'm sorry, I've got CTE, but you've got uh, EBT. Yeah. Yeah. Sound it out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Why do you hold the microphone so close to your chin? Is oh, it, now we're getting meta. Is it to cover the rug burn from Paulie Shaw's nutsack? Oh. Did you know that oh. Angie fucked more, she's fucked so many comics that her gynecologist, <laughs> shut up, her gynecologist gave her pussy the light? <laughs> Did you understand that? Yeah. Okay, we're only on four, just so everyone knows. I, th I, thought, I'd, I thought it was no. over. No, there's, there's two more. 
Uh oh. There's two Hang more. On. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jason is recently divorced. His ex wife took him to kangaroo court. <laughs> Jason was sticking his Joey in other pouches. Nice one, Angie. You're all hot. You got the eye of the tiger. You've also got the face of a pig. You kind of look like one of them brat stoles that's been left out in the sun too long. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with Jason's stand-up. He barely is. Um... <laughs> But Jason likes to tell a story about how he blew a trans woman. He really actually does like shrimp on the Barbie. It wasn't that good, that one, right? That was a journey. Keep it going. Jason Ellis hey. debut. Angie Stroud. Being a bully. All right, uh, I gotta, uh, I gotta give it up to the commission. This was, Woo! this was his doing. He said five jokes. It's Jason's first time. I was worried, but honestly, it got better yeah. as yeah. it went on. It did. At, like at the fourth joke. Yeah. Should we did a fourth. We should have four jokes. Uh, <laughs> let's start with, uh, yeah, autism. You, you know both of these people. You're yeah, excited yeah, about yeah. Jason Ellis being here. Talk yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of Jason Ellis. I've been a fan of yours since Sirius XM Faction. Uh, <laughs> for those who get that stupid fucking reference. Uh, th listen, here's the thing. This was a fun battle, wasn't it? Yeah. I give it four out of five autistic thunderbolts. Best battle so far tonight, honestly. Listen, here's the thing. Angie is a roast champion. And you can tell that from every joke she does. She hits it out of the park pretty much every joke she had. J Jason, first of all, if you're illiterate, how the fuck are you reading those notes? Because they're not, I just, I just see like the top word and then I know the rest of the story. That's cool. I also read on there, just remind yourself I know Jason, I, my, my autism kicked in, I'm so sorry. <laughs> nice, nice. Listen, this was a really good battle. I enjoyed it a lot, but Angie had your number. Uh, good job, Angie. Nice. It's good stuff, baby. All right, Alex, break him down. I am now autistic too, sitting here too long. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Wow, I love this. Uh, Angie, I mean, Angie is heroin chic. Jason just loves needles. <laughs> this looks like one of those carnivals where a little girl gets to put makeup on her dad. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This was, oh, I mean, really, really fun battle, guys. Jason, great job for your first time out. Really, really good. It was super entertaining. Just Angie's jokes were much stronger. Like her first one, the, the, the that's me friend up there, being in Tony Hawk's shadow, the boomerang, come back to your own hand. When you told him to sound it out, that was incredible. And then Jason, I mean, giving your pussy the light, that's hilarious. That's a fucking great joke. Saying the weird outline to start off with. I mean, for a guy that looks like he tried to teleport and a gremlin walked in halfway through, I thought you did pretty good, my man. But uh, clearly, Angie had your number on that one. So, yep. Great job, guys. Really fun. Can I just quickly say something? Yes, you yes, can. I think Jason Ellis is the best skateboarder who's roasted since Ryan Dunn. My boy, look at that! Yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, for the few jackass fans in here, that was yeah. They really, they really, really hated that. That was good. All right, Jason uh, was recently in Fort Wayne right after me, so neither of us are doing well. <laughs> all right, um, Frank, who do you like, Jason Ellis, professional skateboarder, or a longboard? <laughs> That's so good. Uh, first off, I just want to say an extremely entertaining battle. Oh, my God. Jason, phenomenal jokes that Angie wrote. Um, 
Jason, you had some good jokes, but I, uh, regardless of how well you didn't do, uh, Angie did a lot really well, but the fact that you were willing to come up and go against Angie, who is so fucking strong, and the fact that you're willing to do this and just bathe yourself in fire like this, it sets you apart, I feel like, from a lot of the other comics who've tried to come here and try to like do the thing and take from this club, yet you take door guys out on the road and you do a lot of cool shit, so... You should be very proud of yourself. Um, you got your ass whooped, but it's, you, it's it's cool that you fucking did it. So good job, Angie. All right. All right, Pat. Which one of these characters from Euphoria did you like? <laughs> Boy, these Australians, man. Roast jokes, break dancing. Is there anything they can't do? Um, <laughs> Man, I was so pissed when I saw her. I was like, I know. it's coming for me. I How know do you it. think she's going to feel when she sees I, you? I almost, I, at the end, <laughs> <laughs> almost at the end of every joke I did, I was going to do the kangaroo. <laughs> you should have. You should have. Um, <laughs> no, this is, uh, I mean, look, An Angie, Angie's a, a killer up here. Um, Angie, Angie works at the comedy store. She's the only door guy who's built like a door. Um, that's... Uh, La Puerta. Yeah. Um... <laughs> No, I, you know what? In, in all honesty, like, I'm, I'm busting balls, but like Jason you had a few fucking haymakers there, and he was kind of stumbling through it. Every time you, you started a joke, it was like watching you skateboard, and you go up the ramp, and you have no idea in midair what you're trying to do. And I was like, he's never going to pull this off. And you did a couple times, you that, know? That kind of sounds like my skateboard career. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of landing on your head, but a few like really shining moments in there. Uh her gynecologist gave her pussy the light is an incredible joke, really well done. But Angie, she did a brilliant thing. She Googled Australian shit. <laughs> and then she was like, here's three jokes about boomerangs, here's three about kangaroos, here's a shrimp on the Barbie thing. Uh, if they have a rematch, I'm sure she'll get to fucking Paul Newman and, uh, you know, Crocodile Paul Dundee. Hogan. Yeah, oh. that's... Damn it! Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, but you know the yeah the Tony Hawk shit. Tony Hawk shit up top was really really good. Obviously, Angie is uh, is a monster at this. But this was the most fun battle of the night. And and Jason, uh, you you pulled it off, man. You were you were great. Way better than all the other fucking idiots up here tonight. So congratulations. But Angie won. Angie wins again, folks. She came seven to one, eight to one. Angie's crown. And one more time for his debut, Jason Ellis. Oh man. Oh man. So much to talk about there. That was fun. No birdhouse reference, Jason, for Angie Stroud? That would have worked. All right. Right? Man, I was there the whole time. That's why he's not a professional skater anymore. All right. Let's get to this last battle. Are we ready for this? This is a big one because of... <laughs> You'll see what I mean when we get to it. All right. Uh, this lady's from San Diego. She's very exciting. Five and one in her career. Make it loud. Six and one. Ooh, my bad. Way to check me. Make it loud. Mini LT! Yes, yes. Hi, Minnie. Hi. You got your own merch on here? Minnie Van. Hell yeah. Nice. All, right. All right, and that's merch you can get? Yeah, my Theo's selling it at the back. Really? <laughs> All right. No, it's, it's like tarps for a van? I don't know what's yeah. going on. No. It's a lot of material. All right. Um, your battle and page, Wesley, the legend. Why are you doing this tour? I wanted to see who the belly room was named after. <laughs> Uh, you, that Minnie. killed me, I know. <laughs> no, no, Minnie, that's going to be the high blood pressure. <laughs> this person coming to the stage I'm excited about from the Bay Area. Big love for Ram, Paige, Wesley! <laughs> yes! Yes! Wow. Yeah. You have your own merch as well. That's right. Okay, what does yours say? The whole damn book! <laughs> 
because your name is Paige. Thank you. It. It's, this right. is for all the assholes in the YouTube comments who are yeah. just like, Paige, more like book. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is really going to tell, yeah, this is really going to show them. Um, yeah, who's stupid now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who went and got shirts airbrushed to match us? That's what's up. You bitch. Look, no. Yeah. You look, you're the fuck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no, you. you look like moms who go to Disneyland way too much. <laughs> That's what I said when we took a selfie. We were like, we're the PTA and we're planning the bake sale. <laughs> <laughs> we, we ate the bake sale. Yeah, so. sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. How the fuck did you two fit in a selfie? Let's get to this battle. <laughs> Gotta go horizontal. <laughs> All right. Oh. Look, right. Brian, whoever loses, we get them in memoriam on the back. <laughs> With wings, but also like yeah. garlic wings. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Bible verse is about fat people. <laughs> all right, all right. Diabetes 2 and Diabetes 2. Um, <laughs> Let's get into it. Uh, it's fine. Paige, why are you doing this, by the way? You're a legend. Why are you battling Minnie? What? I like battling. And also, they told us we couldn't eat barbecue on stage. Um, <laughs> so. All right. It's five jokes. Who wants to go first? Paige. I'm going first. Yes! This is a legendary battle. I'm excited about this. Up and come by one of the legends. Everybody, let's make it so that we break this bitch. <laughs> battle! Be careful now. Stage is not stable. Uh, <laughs> Minnie is Mexican and Arab, so five times a day she turns and prays towards the nearest Home Depot. <laughs> One more time for Machine Gun Belly, everybody. Her shirt says... More like the whole book, more like the entire library. When a Mexican's looking for her, they say, Donde esta la Biblio Jefa? Sure, I'm fat, but you look like you dip your tampons in hot Cheeto dust. <laughs> We're both raised in the church because we love a religion with snacks. But Minnie looks like she only takes communion if it's flavor blasted. <laughs> Seriously, Minnie. I'm not saying you're a bad Christian, but I don't think you'd be a single mom if you spent more time on your knees. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard to get up from there. <laughs> Yes, I'm a single mother. Paige looks like she was pregnant with twins, but they took after her and ate each other in the womb. <laughs> that was my rebuttal. <laughs> Paige is so fat and dumb, she thought a low-carb diet was eating pasta off the floor. Again, it's tough to get up from there. <laughs> Minnie looks like she refers to cum as aioli. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy Eights, everything. Uh, my mom liked that, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I love it too, thank you. Uh, Paige is actually such a liar. I went to go DM her on Instagram, it said she was active five minutes ago. <laughs> Minnie loves white guys. I do. Like January 6th level white guys because those are the only ones that can breach her rotunda. <laughs> well, black guys like Paige, they think she's an eight, and white guys think she just ate. <laughs> Paige never seeks revenge, because she's always the bigger person. <laughs> Minnie got dumped by a guy in a wheelchair. Like, you know you need to do cardio if the cripples can run away from you. <laughs> uh, 
One more time for Cake Lively, everybody. <laughs> uh, Paige is so fat and dumb, her favorite bird is a ham hock with collard greens and mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. Thank you. Hey, I would never eat green stuff. <laughs> Hell yeah. One time for Paige Wesley! And Minnie LT! All right, Josh. This is it right here. First of all, keep it going for chunk and chunkier. Okay. Listen, I'm, I'm chunkiest, so I'm allowed to say that. This was a great battle. Give it up for them. Four out of five autistic Thunderbolts. A great battle to end the night. Yeah. So here's the thing. Paige cleared out as usual. She ate as much as she usually ate, and that's a lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to hell soon. Potentially me first, depending on the blood pressure, but sure. Well, hold hands together. It would be great. All right. Minnie, you're, you, you did mostly great. Thank you. You, you fell apart at the end, and, and, and Paige... Cleaned up as usual. You, you you couldn't hold a candle in the last round, so I give it to Paige. Yeah. All right. I licked the bowl. As it were. That's one for Paige. Frank, who'd you like in this all-female reboot of Heavyweights? Uh, first off, it's good to see the girls that sued Lizzo doing so well. Um, <laughs> I don't want to eat fruit. No. This, this does oh. look. This does look like my favorite night at the strip club, ladies. I just want to let you know. Uh, this is daytime, Frank. Come oh, on. What, <laughs> what night is this? It's a Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> let's be real. It's Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's 6 p.m. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Frank, you haven't been to a strip club. It's all good. Though. I know. Um, it was a good battle. I liked it. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of really funny jokes. It really made me laugh. Uh, this does look like two lunch ladies trying to fight over which kid they're going to molest. Um, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was specific, yeah. Paige. Definitely a slow one. Paige, good, good, uh, Paige, good job. I think you took it away from me. Hey. All right, Alex Hooper, which green m and did you like? First of all, I want to say this battle was very brave. Thank you. Now, now, once again, I mean, give it up again for Twaddle Dum and Tittle D, everybody. I was looking for it. The, <laughs> these are the last two people left at Golden Corral, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what a win for stretch, for stretch uh, waistlines, right? Sorry about that. Not a button in sight. Uh, no, not at all. Well, let's talk about this. This, honestly, amazing jokes. Oh, I can't believe we just watched two women just call each other fat nonstop for five minutes. What a country, huh? <laughs> um, tampons in the hot Cheeto. I love that kind of stuff. The cum aioli, hilarious. Uh, cripples can't even run away. That is so fucking good. Um, God, and then the Biblio Heffa, so funny. Uh, active five minutes ago on Instagram was probably my favorite joke in there. Um, by the way, I know, Minnie, I know there's a, the bigger the hoop, the bigger... No, there was just bigger. Um... <laughs> It was really fucking good, you guys. Honestly, I have I have you guys at four to four. Um, I mean, look, I don't. I want to see one more joke, but I also know there was an earthquake last week, and I don't know if Los Angeles can handle another one. But this was epic. This was great, and I think personally, it was tied for me. Okay. All right. Kamish, this is on you. Which one of these six hundred pound sisters do you want to win? Yeah, instead of overtime, we'll call it aftershocks. Um, <laughs> no, I, um, you know, I, I, I don't have anything mean to say. These guys are both, they're, they're amazing at this. They're so funny. Um, what, what I love is that, you know, Paige has battled so many times, and, and Minnie's, like, newer, and uh, I'm sure between them they've heard every fat joke there is, and then they set out to, like, write ten new fat jokes. And they, they, mission accomplished. That Instagram active five minutes ago thing, I can't believe I've never heard that. It's so good. The bigger person thing is great. Um, they, were, they were both swinging the entire way through. Uh, Paige also snuck in some racism at the beginning with the Home Depot thing. That's a veteran move. 
Um, uh, aioli a little bit? Yeah, I was like, ah. Yeah. Like, you so felt that a little bit, yeah. Here's where we're going. We've been waiting for somebody to break down the, the great aioli lie. Uh, they just called mayonnaise aioli. They jacked the price up. We all know what happened. Paige is a truth teller as, as well as like a great joke writer uh, to, to call that out. Um, I, 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 thought it was, I thought it was close, but I did think that, um, you know, Minnie, she took a swing with that last joke that went on for like three or four things. And like you have to land the punchline as opposed to just like diminishing returns with everyone. It, it, it didn't connect, whereas I thought Paige was like a little bit, uh, a little bit, yeah. I, I don't know what you said, but uh, I vote for what? No, it was good. He said, Go ahead. He said yeah. going back for seconds. Right. Oh, <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I think Paige won the battle, and the guy in the audience is funnier than the first four battlers. Tonight. Oh! Folks, keep it going. Bram Paige Wesley! Hug each other, you two! This was fun. One more time for Mini LT, everybody! And our fire squad, keep it going. Frank Castillo, Alex Hooper, Josh Meyerowitz, and as always, the RLB, the RBL Commissioner, Pat Barker. We'll see you next Tuesday. We're at Jamming the Band this Thursday. We love you guys. <laughs>